We have Norfolk State head coach Robert Jones. To his left is Kyle Williams. And to his right is Mastadi. Yes. Um, Coach, please give us uh, opening statement. Um, I'm extremely proud of this team. You know, we went from uh, uh, 0-9 start to being in the hunt for a regular season championship to hopefully, you know, go in the hunt for a conference championship. Um, today didn't go the way we wanted to go. Obviously, with us with having a defeat, but um, you know, like I told these guys in the locker room, you know, we're family. And um, we stuck together, you know, it was times, you know, we don't talk too much about and try to make excuses about anything, but um, these guys have been through a lot. You know, they, we lost two all-conference players at the beginning of the year. You know, we lost another kid who probably would have made all-rookie team. Um, even to this day, right now, in the locker room, and, you know, if you notice, Jellino didn't play that much. He has a potential foot injury uh, that he has to need surgery on. Stavian has another injury that he's going to have to get surgery on. So, you know, we're out there fighting to the end with eight players at this point. And these guys fought and they never gave up. They went from 0-9 to you know, 14 and 19, winning 11 out of the last 13 before this game. Um, you know, these guys went through plenty of adversity. You know, they went through, I mean, they show me different stuff. You know, people saying this and that about them. You know, disappointing team and all this other stuff like that. But, you know, you take away two all-conference players from anybody in the country and they're gonna have a tough uh, time, and that's anybody in the country. You take away Marvin Bagley and Grayson Allen from Duke, they're not going to be Duke anymore. So, you know, taking away at our levels, Zanai Robinson and Jordan Butler, um, two all-conference potential first-team players. It's not just injuries. Everybody has injuries, and we understand that, but these guys, you know, our injuries were a little different. Our situations were a little different, and um, our guys, they fought, and I, I love coaching these guys. You know, these are a bunch of unselfish guys. We had almost five guys in double figures. We've never had that before, but they all bought into being a team. So, um, you know, I, I really, I'm sad that it ended this way, especially for this group of guys who all think they, they've been through all the stuff, all the, the naysayers and everything like that. They just blocked it all out, and we just came together as a family to get to this point. Questions? Rob, what adjustments they made? Uh, during that run, I mean, honestly, we had point blank layups and stuff that we were missing. So I can't say they made a, a you know, what adjustment they made. You know, um, the, the, the offense left us for a second. I mean, we shot 36% in the, in the second half. Um, and there wasn't nothing they was doing defensively because we were still getting to the rim. You know, we still had wide open shots. We had everything that we had in the first half, except for the first half, we put them in. In the second half, we, we, we missed some, you know, some shots. So, um, I can't quite answer that question about what they did differently, um, except for more to the offense. We just didn't put the ball in the hole. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, I think, um, you know, I just recently, I mean, with the Old Dominion, you know, with, obviously with the same team, you know, without having a, a, a per se, a dynamic scorer, you know, and sometimes, um, or maybe a few at this, you know, um, it, it, it could abandon you, abandon you for a second, you know. So um, it did to us today and um, at a key stretch. You know, and then at the, down the stretch, under five-minute mark, um, we had a couple panic shots. You know, um, I got on, you know, got on Kyle about one. He knows what one I'm talking about. Um, you know, Alex Long had a panic shot. You know, Masadi had a panic shot, you know. So it was a couple shots that we could have executed a lot better, but it was like, caught up in the moment, panic, trying to get all it all back in one, you know, bucket. The last time I checked, you know, this is not MTV rocking jock from 1995 when you got a 20 point basket that comes out. So, you know, a 10 point basket. So, you know, getting it back in one shot is not going to work. Um, it's disappointing, but I, mean, I feel like before I couldn't have asked for a better effort. I mean, there's a few things, key possessions that we messed up on, but I feel like we gave it all we got. How would you sum up the season? Uh, it was a learning experience. We went through so much. Everybody doubted us. But we fought, we stayed as a family. We didn't get the results we wanted, but we still fought. Yeah, 
that even though we didn't have our, one of our two best players, we were still a tough team. And we could still, like, we still had a chance to win it. This, this season kind of has similarities to that <clears throat> season right before we won the championship. Yeah. We kind of struggled that year. We lost some players, like we're going to lose this year, but we brought a lot back like we're going to do next year. Yeah. It really kind of fueled those guys, I thought, in that next season when we won the championship. How, did, how, does the, um, how do you think you guys are going to really kind of use this season to fuel into next year? Well, I think that, you know, this season, honestly, some guys, even Mastadi, I talked to him in the office one time, and I said, you know, did you expect to play this much? And I don't even remember that conversation. Yeah. And he said, no, I didn't expect to play this much. I thought that Zanai Robinson was going to play a whole bunch. So he got some great experience this season to help carry over to next season. And even, like you said, that, that season, you know, I mean, the season before we won the championship, a lot of people don't, don't realize that we were 12 and 20 that, the season before that. And, um, you know, without injuries and stuff like that, we just was a bad team. And then we came back with a lot of guys returning, added a couple pieces, which, we, you know, we honestly, we have the pieces already here with Butler and Zanai and CJ Kelly sitting out for us and Keonze Chavis, you know, they're already here, just adding this to the, to the core and I'm, I'll be excited about, you know, next season. So, I, you know, hopefully it is that magical, like that turnaround, but um, it's very similar. It's, it's very, very, very similar because that team in 2010, 2011 was a team, bunch of, a, a bunch of juniors and underclassmen and then they all became seniors and we added a couple pieces and, you know, we were able to, do something magical that year. Any more questions? Coach, thank you very much for your place for your time.